What is up guys? It is Styx here and today I'm going to be going over, as you can see, a lot of things. In fact, more specifically, I'm going to be going over things that I think new players need to know about the game. I have seen that a lot of new people are joining, a lot of people don't know what to do with certain things because they have either come back after a long time or because they are just simply unaware because this is their first time playing the game. Now first, these little gold weekly challenges refer to either powerful or pinnacle gear. Something to keep in mind, powerful gear is equal to your character if they have hit something called the powerful gear cap, which this season is at 1320. But if you're lower than 1320, powerful means an increase in gear. The only difference between tier one and tier two is the amount of increase. Now, pinnacle gear gives you a big increase if you are under 1320 and a very, very small increase if you're above 1320 or at 1320. So for example, there are two types of pinnacles. There are those from the pinnacle activities, dungeons and raids, and there are those that are from normal activities like strikes, crucible, gambit. Those from normal activities will only have a one power increase Whereas those from pinnacle activities, the actual like high-end PVE content, or I think Trials has them as well, high-end PVP content. And then there's also Iron Banner for high-end PVP content. Each bounty gives you a tier two pinnacle drop. But these pinnacles will give you a plus two power to whatever your current power is. So a lot of the time when you are power farming and trying to get up what you want to do is you want to grab one or two pinnacles of different pieces of gear and then you want to go and do a bunch of stuff that says powerful for example last season's override is a good powerful source since you only have to do it three times you don't have to use any seasonal currency there's also old raids if you ever want to be doing some raiding that's a tier three powerful That'll give you a lot if you're under power this season. And then there's also the seasonal activities of which I have not finished myself because I am at pinnacle cap almost. But when you're trying to grab as much power as possible, it is important to remember that you can get powerful gear at any time. These prime engrams, I don't know if I have any on this character. If I don't, I'll just tell you, it's the pink and gold ones. These prime engrams will give you a powerful drop. So what you want to do is you grab a couple of pinnacles and then you fill the whole thing in with powerfuls once you've hit 1320. Before 1320, you can play whatever you want and then just do everything. I would recommend farming stuff out if you're really low because that way you could, you know, just do it faster, I guess. And then you'd be able to experience a lot of the more high-end content with people. But that's up to you. Do whatever you want. Another thing I would recommend to uh, new players is a lot of you guys don't know who Spider is. Spider is a vendor in the Tangled Shore. So once you've gone to the Tangled Shore, you unlock this via doing the first Forsaken campaign quest. Even if you don't own Forsaken, it'll let you do it just so you can unlock it for seasonal stuff. You're going to want to come to about here and go into this cave. I will say, this is the most important vendor in the game. The most important normal vendor in the game for new players. Because the season will give you a little bit of planetary materials here and there. But this guy is the king of planetary materials. Here, you can trade planetary materials for either glimmer or legendary shards. So if you need these, then you can do that. I would recommend have about a thousand of each. 
And I would also recommend only buying it with legendary shards because you just use glimmer for other things anyway. Now that we've gone over spider, I'm also going to be showing you what I do believe is the most important vendor, though he is not always up. This would be Zer. He shows up on Friday and I believe leaves at Tuesday reset or Monday reset. Either way, he's only here for the weekends. And he can spawn in one of three locations on a Friday. He'll either spawn in the EDZ, at the Winding Cove around here on the map, or he will spawn in the tower in the hangar over here. Or he'll spawn on Nessus where there is this big tree in the Watcher's Grave. And you'll see him on those times because when you load in, there will be a bunch of other people there as well. Zer will give you a choice of an exotic armor piece for each class. So when you're a new player and you don't have a lot of that stuff, it's best to just go there and get everything that you don't have. Or a lot of older players, even like some veteran players who just don't have a good role of an armor piece will get those good rolls. Now, if you don't want to go through the work of like going to all those places, I will put in the description a site called whereiszer.com. That way you don't need to go out and look for a video on where Zer is or what he is selling. You just wait for like probably like 10, 15 minutes. To be honest, when you open up the site and it's at reset, it's a stream of them going to find him. So you will get your news very soon. And then as far as whether the roles are good or not, there are always the bigger YouTubers that normally will make videos almost immediately afterwards because they also either use the site or look for it when they're streaming, etc. So there's a lot of really good ways to collect information on what the good roles are. Now, either way, if you enjoyed the video, do feel free to like, comment, etc. And if you guys enjoy the style of like Destiny 2 tips and tricks that like the new light should know, especially letting me know what topics you want me to cover could help me a lot. Either way, thank you guys for watching.